hello 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 and welcome back to my channel everyone greetings in the precious name of our lord jesus christ this is minister nay guys i pray everyone is doing well on this morning this afternoon this evening or tonight today i just want to stop by to encourage someone today to just trust in the lord to lean on god and know that he is a very present help in the time of trouble and i was um, making um one or two baskets and my husband came inside and he said to me we was talking and we were discussing um one or two things and he said not cutting you off but I heard you praying for the young lady the other morning and her dad told me that she is in the hospital and she is not doing well. They are not sure what is going on with her. Earlier, my daughter said to me, Mommy, um, the young lady is in the hospital. They're asking for blood donation for her. Um, and right then my other daughter was calling me so i said okay let me call you back um i'll tell my daughter um what you said but let me call you back because she is calling me now she is doing one or two things for me so let me call you back and i told her what was going on and she said yes um mommy her, her and her mom they stopped by my place the other day they were there and i saw them it wasn't until 15 minutes ago that my husband reminded me because sometimes we are in prayer we are in deep prayer and families friends persons you haven't seen or heard from for a while for a bit and they drop in your spirit and one thing I learned about um, Pastor Kevin he said that you could be in the food store you could be you could pass somebody on the road and you could pray in your heart for them. You could be on the line somewhere to the bank line, to the food store line, and there's no distance in prayer. God sees our heart and he knows the sincerity of our heart. And my, hu my husband, when he said, not say cutting you off of our conversation, but the young lady, I heard you in prayer the other morning, praying for her. Her dad just told me she's in the hospital in need of blood. And I said, I thank God because I said, I. They don't live on this island where I'm at, but there are times you are in prayer, persons that you know, persons that you knew, they might not be on the same island, in the same country, in the same neighborhood, but as you in prayer and consecration, they will drop in your spirit. So I just give God thanks and praise that. And I told my husband, I said, we got to stay on the wall. I said, we have to stay on the wall because in this season and in this time that we don't know who the Lord will direct us and lead us to pray for, to pray, you know, to just lift up in prayer. And he said, yes, I heard you praying for her the other morning. And while I was in prayer, after praying for her mom and her mom's sisters, I decided to just, for some reason, she popped in my spirit and I lift her in prayer and I lift her children and I cover them in prayer. So I stop by to encourage you to sworn and man of God, woman of God, servants of God, that there are times we are praying, there are times we are just standing up, perhaps cooking a meal, washing the dishes, pulling some clothes, just walking through your house, doing chores and an individual, a sister, brother, friend, somebody cross your mind. Our job as believers, as saints of God, to just live lift them in prayer and I just give God thanks and praise I just honor my God my father my Savior Jesus Christ I thank God that I didn't even remember but just a few days ago we were in one devotion and I began to lift her up that young lady and I began to cover her children and cover her in prayer and I pray in the name of Jesus that full healing full restoration full deliverance come to her body whatever she's battling whatever she's going through because the bible said the fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much so as we pray and as we believe and as we see god and as we trust god in this season and in this hour as long as we are pure hearts and our minds our intention is pure and right before god we can ask what we want he said abide in me and my words abide in you john 15 and 7 said and what you ask it shall be done in jesus name so 
as we petition God, as we make our request known unto him, that he will grant us the desires of our heart with Proverbs Proverbs Psalms 37 and 4 says, Delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So I encourage us as we delight in God, as we seek God, as we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all these things shall be added. Whatever it is that we are designed, whatever it is that we are seeking God for, we are seeking God for healing, for miracle, for breakthrough, for, 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 for deliverance, whether it's our children, whether it's our community, whether it's our neighbor, the crime, the violence, the the abuse, the molestation, the rape, whatever it is that we are believing that God, we trust you for deliverance. We trust you for healing. We trust you. His word said, if my people, my people, which are called, who are called by my name, by the name of Jesus Christ, if we humble ourselves and pray and seek the face of God, saints of God, people of God, not the sinner, not the backslider, but the saints of God, the children of God, those of us who preach, teach, minister, who share, who call on his name and say, we are um, servants of God. If we would humble ourselves and pray and seek the face of God, he said, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal your land. You need your family to be healed. You need your nation, your community, your island, your neighborhood to be healed. It's in prayer. It's in fasting. It's in seeking God. So I encourage you as I encourage myself. And, you know, I am just so grateful to God that, you know, my husband, he brought it to my attention. He said, the young lady, I heard you praying for her the other morning. Sometimes we lift in persons in prayer. We don't know what they're battling. We don't know what they're going through. But they drop in your spirit. Say a little prayer for them. Lift them in prayer. Lift their children. Lift their family in prayer. So I pray today, even as I read in this prayer book, Prayers That Work by Pastor Kevin L.A. Ewing. This book is life-changing. And I encourage you, if you haven't gotten it as yet, you can go on Amazon or you could go on KevinLaEwing.com and purchase a copy of this powerful, life-changing prayer book using scriptures that bring change. We need it today. The Word of God. The Word of God is our benchmark. The Word of God is where the change is, where healing is, where victory is, where deliverance is, where we overcome um, every obstacle and every situation of our life. I'm not going to read. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I'm going to um, take it from where um, um, I'm just going to start it. I'm not going to start it from the beginning. I'm going to start it from the middle and then I'm going to read. I'm going to decree and declare the scriptures of healing. So I just pray that, you know, if you haven't gotten your prayer book as yet, you can go ahead and get your prayer book. So it says, prayers that work. Um, by Pastor Kevin L.A. Ewing. This is prayer for healing. And like I said, I'm not taking it from the beginning. I'm just going to read um, the passage. And then I'm going to go this passage. And then I'm going to go and decree. Decree and declare and engage the following scriptures. Laws of healing. It says, Father God, not only am I convinced that your son and my savior Jesus Christ is my healer which is your word but i also bind myself to your word as i declare scriptures of healing the word says according to my faith be it unto me and that i cannot please you without my faith matthew 9 and 29 and hebrews 11 and 6 and we now we will um read um the scriptures of healing it says i decree and declare and engage the following scriptures laws of healing he sent his word to heal me psalms 107 verse 20. he healed the broken hearted and bind up their wounds psalms 147 verse 3 because of his stripes i am healed isaiah 53 and 5 healing is the children's bread matthew 15 and 26 the lord will sustain me on my sick bed during my illness he will restore me to full health psalms 41 verse 
3. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Jeremiah 17 and verse 14. Confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous availeth much. James 5 verse 14, 16. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wound, says the Lord. Jeremiah 30 and 17. And you shall serve the Lord thy God, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take away sickness away from the midst of thee. Exodus 23 verse 25. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget his benefits, who forgiveth all iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Psalms 103 verses 2 and 3. O Lord, by these things men live, and in all these is the life of my spirit. Restore me to health and let me live. Isaiah 38 verse 16. A merry heart does good like medicine. Proverbs 17 and 22. So Father, I claim, believe, and receive these promises in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says all things are possible to those who believe. Mark 20, Mark 9 and 23. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my saying. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Proverbs 4 verses 20, 22. He gave power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increased their strength. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40 verses 29 through 31. And I pray today, my brothers, my sisters, my friends, that these words these prayer these scriptures of healing will bring comfort and healing and strength to your body there's a few of you that requested that i continue to pray for you and believe you me when i go down and prayer i call your names and your family some of you say pray for your son pray for your husband healing and deliverance i pray that god's will his will be done. God's healing, God's power, God's deliverance, God's mercy. Restore, heal, deliver, and set us free. Only through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So I pray these words of prayer, these scriptures of healing, bring comfort, bring peace, bring joy to you, my brother, my sister today, and even to me and my family. I pray that you are encouraged. I pray that you will go and get one of these prayer books, Prayers That Work by Pastor Kevin L.A. Ewing. I pray you are encouraged today. And like I said, after my husband he just stopped me and he reminded me that um i heard you praying for that young lady i didn't tell i didn't say anything to him about the young lady i just was in prayer and while we was in prayer i just um after praying for her mom and her aunts she just popped right into my spirit and i began to pray and lift her and cover her in prayer and i pray for her children because she have two beautiful daughters and i began to lift them in prayer so i pray today my brothers and sisters as whatever it is that you may be doing you might be on your job and someone drop in your spirit just lift them just say a quick word of prayer god knows hallelujah today what you need and what I need and what that brother, what that sister need and whatever that they are going through. 
that healing is your portion today. Victory is your portion today. Joy is your portion today. Health is your portion today. Wealth is your portion today. Wisdom be your portion today. Understanding be your portion today. Righteousness be your portion today. The soundness of mind be your portion today. I pray that you are blessed, that you are encouraged today as you seek the Lord, as you trust in the Lord, as you lean not to your own understanding, but in all our ways we acknowledge him and he shall direct our path. Blessings to you, my brothers and sisters. Be encouraged in the precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you is my prayer. Amen and amen.